feel free to do whatever you need to be comfortable in this seat, whether that's sitting on a chair or finding a cushion or a block under your hips. But I always have to wiggle around a little bit and just root down. So do a little bit of that, do a little wiggling, find those sitting bones. And then root to rise. So let the rooting down cause your spine to lengthen. Let it allow you to just find this buoyancy and this beautiful dignified posture. So for today's practice, we're going to use the image of a rainbow as our inspiration. So as we practice together and we're aware of our fellow travelers on the screen, you know, one of the things that a rainbow reminds us of is how all of the colors can coexist together to make something more beautiful. So as you're practicing this morning and you're seeing the other people on the screen, just know that you are one of the bands of that rainbow that make us more beautiful. So we'll start with a, a rainbow breath and we're gonna let our fingertips touch the floor on either side of us and then turn the palms up opening through the shoulders. You're gonna take a deep breath in, arms reaching out, just drawing this rainbow, the fingertips will meet on the top. And on the exhale, we're gonna lower the arms down. So we'll do one breath for each of the colors of the rainbow, right? So we'll start with red, rooting down red, and then turn the palms up, inhale, orange. Exhale, lower the palms down. Turn the palms up, inhale, yellow. And lower, palms up, green. Just visualize that green color surrounding you. And palms up, inhale, blue. And inhale, indigo, that deep blue purple color. And the last color in the rainbow spectrum is violet turning to white. So inhale, keep the arms lifted, let your fingertips touch and just stretch even taller. Like you wanna just touch the very, very top of that rainbow and then peel the arms down slowly. Good, let your hands rest on your legs, roll your shoulders onto your back and close your eyes. Feel now that breath, you've made room inside of your body. Feel the breath moving a little deeper. And we'll introduce a quote for this practice. My dear, when it rains on your parade, Always look up because without the rain, we can't have rainbows. Let your left ear come to your left shoulder and let's do some little neck circles. Just stretching through the muscles of the neck. I'm feeling a lightness and ease in this motion. And then let's move to the shoulders. So level out the head, start to circle, shoulders up, back and down. Working out the knots of tension that might be living there between the shoulder blades. And then take the fingertips to the shoulders, bring the elbows out and around in great big circles. Now moving the sensation into the chest, the shoulders. Move with your breath. And let your hands rest on your legs, cat and cow. Start to move the breath into your spine. Inhale to pull your heart forward. And exhale to press your spine backward. You might be hearing now that whisper breath 
Ujjayi breath. That's a warmer air hitting the lungs. Bring your fingertips to the floor in front of you and just crawl your hands as far forward as you can. Give yourself this cross-legged forward fold stretch and deepen the breath into your lower back. Pressing back to an upright spine, swing your legs around and find yourself in a tabletop position. And as you start to make your way through cat and cow, I'll go ahead and add some music to our practice. Start to move with your own breath, the tailbone first, the head last. And the next time you come to cat, how, lift your chest, walk your hands forward, and pull forward a little bit more. Exhale, cat, round to child's pose. So as we shift our body forward and back, let's continue cat and cow with the spine. But let's add in more movement, taking up a little more space on our mat. Just this glorious exploration. Settling back into child's pose, shift your hips to the left and the right. Feel the outer edges of your hips and the deep muscles of your low back. Like your hips are just in a hammock, swinging between two trees. Let your elbows fall to the earth. Spread your fingers wide, tuck your toes, and let's lift up into dolphin pose. And in dolphin, don't worry about heels on the ground. Just let them reach in that direction. You can keep your knees soft, belly strong. So the head is off the ground. Nod your head, relax your neck. This is a strong posture, can, is known to cause shaking, one of the side effects. So we'll take some of these challenging postures today as a reminder to appreciate the rain, right? We'll be out of this pose soon. We'll create a rainbow. Take another deep breath in, lift your tailbone even higher. And on the exhale, release your knees to the mat. Come back up to a tabletop position. We're going to kick one foot off the edge of the mat and then extend the opposite leg. So we'll find ourselves in this kneeling side plank. Planting that foot of the extended leg, let's start to create a rainbow shape with our arms. So up and over and down and over. We always think of this pose as work or this this movement as work for the core but today i'd like you to just really be aware of your fingertips making bigger arcs reaching out farther away from you as far as you can in both directions just painting the colors One more time, coming all the way over the head and then just stretch yourself as long as you can here. Reach and breathe into the side of your body. And releasing back to center. Tabletop position, drop your elbows. Spread your fingers wide and come once again into dolphin. We really want to press down with the forearms. You'll feel your shoulders a little stronger here. And folks, this is a great option if down dog isn't your favorite pose. This is a little harder, but it's nice. It's more friendly on the wrist. Inhale up to your tippy toes and exhale, press back to your heels. 
lower the knees come back to all fours and let's reverse side so the left foot off the edge of the mat right leg extends right arm up and then we'll begin our big rainbow arc with our arms moving with your breath painting the biggest rainbow around you that you possibly can reach you might just visualize the colors like imagine standing right inside of a glorious rainbow And one more time over, let that arm reach overhead, stretch your side body long, reach out through the foot, out through the fingers, and return to tabletop. Let's tuck our toes and lift into downward facing dog and just notice the difference between dolphin and dog. Bicycle out your heels. Stretch your calves. Pay attention to the fascia on the bottom of your feet. Big deep breaths, everybody. And then slowly, slowly walking forward. Feet meet the hands. Press your shins, come to a half lift. Belly stays strong, arms fly behind in airplane. Take a moment here, bend your knees a little bit more, squeeze your shoulder blades onto your back. A little bit of a chair. I actually think some people call this chair plane. Inhale, sweep the arms low, lift and lengthen, create a rainbow here. So imagine the rainbow in front of you now, arms reaching back as far as you can get them and up overhead. Really reach those fingers far. Turn up the volume of your breath. So if you had someone next to you in the room, they could start to hear that whisper breath. And then let your hands settle in front of your heart. Pause for a moment inside of the colors you've just painted. Feel your feet on the earth, head in the sky, hands at your heart. We're gonna use this imagery as we move through some sun salutations. So let's just go through one simple sun A first. Nothing fancy, 12 breaths. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, plank, knees or toes. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, cobra or up dog. Exhale, down dog. Take three breaths right here. Looking forward, step the feet to the hands. Inhale, half lift. Good, exhale, forward fold. Inhale, arms sweep high. Exhale, hands to heart. So I wanna give you an example of hard sun salutation. And what I'd like you to do is what a lot of people do, grit your teeth, tense your muscles, and make this hard, all right? So really, we're gonna kind of fight through a sun salutation. So press into the feet, tighten the muscles of your legs, tighten the muscles in your belly, arms reach, point as high as you can, your whole body firm and strong. Press your hands together, fold forward. Inhale, half lift, really press on the shins. Exhale, downward facing dog. 
Inhale, plank pose, pause, shoulder blades broad, core strong, every muscle in your body contracted, grit your teeth. Exhale, lower halfway down, hold, hold, hold. And then rise up, cobra or up dog, really press the earth away, squeeze your shoulder blades together, exhale, down dog, strong, hard pressure in your hands, core stays engaged. And then look forward, bring your feet to your hands, press to shins, lengthen, and exhale, fold. Rise high, extended mountain. Again, reach to your highest height, everything tense and tight, hands to heart. Press your hands together firmly. All right, so never do that again. But an example of how we really can like create more work for ourselves than we need to. So we're gonna try one more sun salutation and I'd like you to find the softness, like the flow, the ease of this sun salutation. And float your arms high. Exhale, hinge from the hips, forward fold. There's strength and there's softness. Press to half lift. Downward facing dog. Find both, shift forward, plank pose, knees or toes, lower halfway. And then rise up, effortless effort, downward facing dog. And see if you can just find the strength with the softness. The feet meet the hands. We inhale to a half lift and we exhale forward fold. With soft knees, rise high, extended mountain. And finish with your hands at your heart. Just see if that feels a little different. Let's step one foot out to the wide edge of our mat. We're gonna turn our toes out Arms reach straight out to the sides. Come down into a goddess squat, or some people call this horse, and turn the palms up. I'm gonna do those seven rainbow breaths again here, holding this deep squat. Inhale, fingertips touch. Exhale, palms down, red. Inhale, breathe in orange. Exhale, lower. Inhale, breathe in yellow. Exhale, lower. Inhale, breathe in green. Exhale, lower. Inhale, breathe in blue. Exhale, lower. Inhale, indigo. And finally, violets. Reach up, touch your fingertips, point as high as you can, sit a little lower in the squat, and then lower your hands to your thighs. Press your left hand against the left inner thigh and roll your body across. You're gonna find a nice stretch here in the rib cage, the back, the lats, back of your shoulder. Come back to center and switch. Right hand inside the right inner thigh. Press to a straight arm and really lengthen and stretch your back. Come back to center, straighten the legs, arms to the side again. We're gonna reach out with palms extended. And as we exhale, pull your elbows into your waist. Inhale, reach straight out. Pull your elbows into your waist. Inhale, straight out. Good, close in. Let's make that a little bit bigger. Reach the fingertips up and hug into the waist. Working the muscles of the upper back and the legs.
And then let's let that go and turn it into sunflowers, sweeping high and low. So now there's a little hinge at the hips. You might adjust your feet, the chest stays lifted. Building heat. You go a little bit faster. You can watch your friends on the screen and everyone setting their own pace, but maybe a little more brisk breath. One more time, reach high and lower fingertips to the earth, square off the feet, lengthen through the crown of your head and let your body fold forward. Just dangle your head here. Let's walk the hands forward the way we would in downward facing dog. Just find a very wide version of dog. Getting some really nice stretch through the chest and shoulders. Deepen your breath, friends. Walk the hands back under your shoulders. Inhale to a flat back half lift. Left hand comes right under your face. Right arm opens into a twist. Giving us some sensation, some space in the inner thighs. Breathe deep, everybody. And release, lower down. Come back to a flat back, right hand in the middle, left arm to the sky. Breathe into what you feel here. And release that hand to the earth, fold forward. And bend and straighten your knees. And let's walk ourselves toward the front edge of our mat, coming into a kneeling lunge. Let your back knee come to the earth. Point your toes backward. Good. All right, so here we go, hip flexors. If this is feeling pretty good to you and you want a little bit more, you can press up to a little back bend. If that gives you strain or stress in your low back, stay low. Just let the hip flexor be the priority here. Releasing, tuck the back toes. Let's lift the knee. So we're gonna take a little flow into our um, high lunge. And again, this idea of drawing a rainbow. Inhale slowly as the arms come up. We gotta kind of catch our balance first. Reach back as far as you can. And then the fingertips forward as far as you can reach. Paint the top of a rainbow and sweep your arms behind. Move with your breath. Maybe this one slow down a little bit and just find every color along the way. As the hands come down, plant the left hand, continue the right arm around in a circle. Fingers down, fingers up, circling through the shoulder. One more time, up and around. And lower the left hand to the earth. Sorry, right hand to the earth. Step your back foot to meet your front foot and just bend and straighten your knees a few times. Keeping the left foot where it is, step your right foot back, and drop the knee to the earth. Let's find our hip flexor here. Option to stay low or press up. Your lower back is the boss, gets to choose what's best. If 
beautiful. Let's tuck the back toes, lift the knee, and begin your journey of sweeping the arms forward, up, and back. Just take the time to really plant your feet to get your balance, and then find the biggest rainbow you can draw without any pain, without wincing, without gritting teeth. There is strength in your body where you need strength. There is flexibility where you need flexibility. You just have to trust the two to work together. One more time up. And as we come down, plant the right hand and continue the circle with the left. As we lower that hand to the earth, let's step the left foot back, downward facing dog. You can stay here, you can drop into child's pose or take a vinyasa. Three really great choices. Just depends if you want mild, medium, or hot sauce. You get to choose. On the inhale, raise your right leg high, circle your ankle, spread your toes. Shifting up onto the toes of the left foot, draw that knee towards your chin, really hug in tight through your core. Inhale the leg back up high. Exhale, hug in. Inhale the leg high one more time. Exhale, hug in, hug, hug, and then step. Find that foot at the top of your mat. The back heel drops. Rise up first into a warrior one stance with no arms. Let's create a really firm foundation. And sometimes that means taking your foot out to the right side just a little bit, give yourself kind of train tracks. Press down on your hips with your hands. So we've got stability, strength. Then bring your hands to your ribs and lift your ribs up away from your hips. Give yourself a little more space right there. And then the arms are gonna come out to the sides, rainbow arms to the sides. Inhale, red. Exhale, lower. Palms up, inhale, orange. Exhale, lower. Shoulders relaxed. Inhale, yellow. Exhale, lower. Inhale, green. Inhale, blue. Reaching for the edges. Exhale, inhale, indigo. Lower and finally, violet to white. Let your fingertips touch, press to the top of that rainbow. Feet firm, fingertips lifted, ribs pulling up away from the hips. Breathe. And then just separate your hands, soften your shoulders, sweep the arms, come into airplane arms. Two more times like that. Inhale, lift. Exhale, reach back. Inhale up, warrior one. And feel your body open into warrior two. Take this nice wide stance here. So we get to do rainbow again here, palms up. We're gonna start with the reverse warrior. And you can choose, bent knee if you like a little bit more all the way up to that straight leg and then as you come over side angle maybe resting on the thigh the arm reaches over and that could also be triangle so let's just explore that move with breath try bent try straight 
try a combination. And the main objective is just reaching your fingertips as far as you can in two directions, drawing that rainbow. On the next exhale, soften the front knee, windmill your hands to the earth, downward facing dog. Three choices, stay here, lower your knees, child's pose, or take a vinyasa. We have time for what everyone needs. Take a deep breath in with a loud exhale. And when you're ready, raise your left leg high, circle your ankle, wiggle your toes, engage your core. <sighs> Breathe in, lift the leg a little higher, come up onto your back toes. Exhale, reach forward, knee toward the chin. Inhale, lift. Exhale, tuck. One more time, reach high. Exhale, draw in as far as you can and then set that foot in its place, top of your mat. The back heel drops, come up to warrior one. Take a moment, settle. Use your hands to anchor down, strong feet, firm, strong legs. Slide hands to ribs and lift. Lift the ribs up away from the pelvis a little bit. So there's space in that low back and then reach your arms out to the sides, palms up. Inhale, red, fingertips touch, and lower. Inhale, orange. Inhale, yellow. Deepen the breath with each reach. Green. blue, indigo, and violet, reaching to white, touch your fingertips together, reach your fingers high, press your feet down, separate ribs and hips, so much space for breath. Release the hands, hinge from the hips, airplane arms. We'll do that two more times. Arms reach up and back. Inhale to warrior one. Exhale, open warrior two. Take that nice wide firm stance and turn your palms up. Begin the rainbow arms of reverse warrior to side angle. Choosing a bent knee or a straight leg or a combination. The goal is to reach the fingers as far away from you as you can, keeping space in the body. Standing inside of these colors, feeling the brightness, the aliveness. One more breath in, reach back and windmill your hands to the earth, downward facing dog, child's pose or vinyasa, three choices. a right choice for you and there's no wrong choice let's let the feet come to the hands inhale to a half lift and exhale forward fold put a bend in the knees wrap your arms around give yourself a hug 
I'm gonna explore a little more bent, a little more straight. What is your perfect standing forward fold? Releasing the hands to the earth, press to a half lift, soften the knees, and let's reach all the way up, extended mountain, and bring your hands to your heart. Beautiful. All right, moving into tree pose for a balanced posture. Stand on your right foot and turn your left knee out. You can do that a few times, just kind of finding that swivel in the hips. Then when you're ready, the foot can be low, medium, or high. Try to avoid your knee. Rooting down, this standing hip draws in, so the body's as straight a line as you can get. Open your arms halfway, turn the palms. Let's do rainbow breath here, reach high. And press down. Seven breaths, and I'll just let you Roll through the colors in your own mind. If you forget the order, go back to school. It's Roy G. Biv. Number seven, let your fingertips touch. Reach as high as you possibly can. Put space in your body, root down to rise up. And slowly make your way back to standing in mountain pose. And then without shaking out your foot just yet, just notice the foot that's been doing all the work. Instead of shaking, just stand and notice. You probably feel a little heavier on one side, a little stronger, more firm or stable on the right. So we're just gonna subtly shift 80% of our weight into the left foot and let that right heel come up and open. Low, medium or high. Hug that hip in. arms halfway, palms up. Begin your seven rainbow breaths. Red for the root chakra, our stability. Orange for the sacral chakra, our flow, our ability to move through life with grace and ease. Yellow for the solar plexus, our strength, our power, where we say, I am. Green for the heart, growth, love, compassion, empathy, connection. Blue for the throat, communication, expression, speaking our truth and listening as others speak theirs. Indigo, the third eye chakra, our intuition, our wisdom, what we see when our eyes are closed, our knowing. And finally, reach up, touch your fingers, crown chakra, violet to white, lift toward the heavens, our spiritual center, the part of us that knows it is connected to all that is our bigger self, our capital I, reach. Lower the arms, lower the foot, and without shaking out the leg, just feel. Feel that we don't always need that shaking. The body naturally writes itself. Now you might notice coming into balance and symmetry. 
Keep your feet planted firmly, hinge from the hips, forward fold. Step back into downward facing dog. Last opportunity if you like to take a vinyasa. I'm gonna raise the right leg up high. And as we exhale, hover with the knee just underneath your face and then start to stick that leg out toward your left side. It's gonna be on the outside edge of the right foot. And then roll to the inside edge of your left foot. Open both arms up in this wide kneeling side plank. Press, hold, breathe. And look at your fellow travelers on the screen as you make one rainbow. Arms overhead, arm overhead, arm down to your side. Settle both hands on the floor and draw that knee into pigeon. You can stay up high or lower down. Just promise me you'll take care of your right knee. No sharp pain. Close your eyes and breathe. Bring to mind while we're here in Pigeon, uh, a place in your life where it feels like life is raining on your parade. Something is complicated, hard, or frustrating. Oh my dear, whenever life rains on your parade, look up, not down. For without the rain, we could not have rainbows. So inside of this complication that life has thrown at us, can we still look up, look forward, look for the rainbows? Let's release hands to mat. Talk your back toes sweep your right leg up give it a nice little gentle stretch and then from downward facing dog we'll take the left leg high shifting forward hover that knee as far forward as you can get it and then shoot it off toward the right side coming onto the outside of your left foot the inside of your right foot Stacking your left shoulder over your left wrist. Wide Vashistasana. And let's do one rainbow. Reach over, reach down. Settle both hands and the knee comes into pigeon. Left side. Staying high or lowering down your choice. Find your breath here. Maybe something under your forehead will allow you to rest a little more. So on this side, let's allow ourselves to contemplate something that's going really well in our life right now a bright spot, a rainbow in our life. Where is the sun shining? And let's take a moment to be in that space of gratitude, of joy. Chances are it's sunny and beautiful because you've walked through a hard place and emerged here into the light of day. The rain stopped. Take a moment to enjoy this moment in your life where there is a rainbow.
We'll plant our hands, we'll tuck our toe, toes and sweep that leg up. Gently stretching. With both feet on the ground, drop your knees to the earth. Flip yourself around and come down onto your back. Draw your knees into your chest. You're giving yourself a hug, maybe a little massage. And then let both of your knees fall over to the left side. So it's gonna be like you're laying on your left side. The left arm extends out. Place your right hand on top of your left like you're in Namaste. And then just bring your fingers across your palm, across your wrist, across your forearm, across your elbow, your bicep, collarbones, and then open that arm out into a twist. Let your head follow. Take a few deep breaths right here. Notice breath coming in and out of your nose, the sensation, the temperature of the air. Let your knees come up to the center, shift your weight so that you're laying down on your right side, palms together. And then slowly just tracing with your fingers, your palm, a little bit of gentle pressure, your wrist, your forearm, your elbow, bicep, shoulder, collarbones, and then open the left arm, turn your head left. Breathe here. Notice breath in your throat. Let your knees come up to center. You can keep your arms where they are. Center your torso and then just extend your heels out to reach for the corner edges of your mat. And allow yourself to just lay here in this position of just surrender. Shoulder blades on the ground, head resting, face relaxed. I'm just aware of the gentleness of breath moving in your chest and your belly. Let each exhale draw you down toward the earth a little more. your next four or five breaths. Make a slow transition to a seat. You can keep your eyes closed. We're gonna end with a breath practice. So stay internally focused as you transition. end this practice with Nadi Shadana, which is alternate nostril breath. If you have any congestion in your nose, you might want to grab a tissue quick and clear things out here. Some call this the rainbow breath because we're going to picture breath coming in one nostril 
pausing at the top and going out the other like a rainbow and then it reverses so the breath is going to move in one nostril out the other just like a rainbow shape so once you've cleared your nostrils i like to bring two fingers here between my brow like an anchor and use the thumb and the ring finger to very softly close off each nostril so we'll start with a deep breath in and a breath out of the nose Closing the right nostril, breathe in through the left. Pausing at the top, switch your fingers, breathe out of the right. And then in through the right. Pause, breathe out of the left. Breathe in through the left. Pause, out of the right. in through the right pause breathe out of the left and continue this on your own inhale switch fingers and exhale inhale switch exhale like a rainbow and you might start to picture that breath actually becoming a rainbow around you Do one more round, in, switch, out, in, switch, out. And the next time you breathe out of your left nostril, release your hand to your thigh. And just take a couple of slow, easy breaths. Take one final reach, arms overhead, trying one final rainbow. Fingertips lift to the sky, palms meet, and lower to heart center. Drop your chin just a little, bowing to yourself with gratitude for this practice of yoga. Gratitude for our fellow travelers, those who have shared this screen and those who will share this practice in the future. Please leave knowing that your color, your place on the rainbow makes us more beautiful. When life rains on your parade, look up, not down. For without the rain, there could be no rainbow. Namaste.